This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Oreo ice cream. This has been out for quite some time, I never took a proper close look at it, but uh, now I think it is time. It is the end of 2020, and uh, this year needs a proper send-off. Why not do that with Oreo ice cream? Um, I never really thought it was really interesting. Uh, I've got to say that it, would, it, it looks a bit off-putting, it looks quite... Dark. It looks like it's charcoal or something with an ice cream filling, but uh, I hope that it's not that. This, uh, if you are interested in that, um, let's take a quick look at the nutrition table. Um, might as well zoom in on that. Pause to read, and we've actually have got an English labeled ingredients right here. We've got vanilla flavor ice cream with crushed chocolate flavor biscuit pieces with vanilla flavor filling coated in crushed chocolate flavor biscuit with a vanilla flavor filling. A lot of crushed stuff, a lot of vanilla, a lot of filling. Uh, it's gonna be, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Uh, quick look at the other ingredients lists if you want to read it in a different language, of course. Let's open this one up. Size-wise, it seems to be just like another Magnum-style ice cream. And I'm going to put the rest of these in the fridge. Freezer. Maybe I did want to say the fridge and freezer combination appliance, but uh, I certainly took a wrong cap on that. Let's unwrap this. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> it, it, it looks like, it really looks like charcoal. It really does. It's a bit more brownish than that, but um, overall <laughs> this is quite dark and not really... I mean, Magnum isn't really all that great either these days with uh, keeping the form factor properly adjusted, but uh, this one, yeah, it really... it's got a little bit of a bulge. The coating right here is not very even. You can see ice cream sticking through all the way around, but... Um, it does smell good. It does smell exactly like an Oreo cookie with uh, a bit of ice cream behind that. And maybe that is really what this is. Uh, I'm going to give this a little bite now. Now, I did expect this to be a bit crunchy, but uh, it really isn't at all. It is... It, it's weird. You expect that crunch from Magnum ice cream and it's just ground cookie stuff. It is tasty, but I did not expect that. Um, so far, so good though. Let's slice this open. Maybe there are some surprises there, but um, this looks very standard, as you can say. We've got our vanilla-flavored ice cream and uh, some small pieces in there of that Oreo cookie stuff, and that's really it. Nothing major apart from that. So I guess I'll finish this off and give you my conclusive review in uh, just a second. So I've finished my portion size, and I've got to say that overall I'm pleased. Um, it's it's tasting good, there's nothing particularly bad about it. The first impression was decent, the colour was um, off-putting at first, but then again it's an Oreo cookie, it's uh, almost a midnight black. Uh, so uh, that was fine. Taste-wise, uh, pretty decent actually. The vanilla flavoured ice cream, I didn't taste any aftertaste, and the Oreo coating stuff that was going on um, was quite decent as well, quite crumbly, um, very much like uh, just crushed cookies. It's, uh, I wouldn't have described it as anything else placed in that regard. So it's quite fitting for the theme of the ice cream and the theme realization therefore is uh, decent as well. Value for money at 2 99 for four of these. It's all right, not the greatest, uh, certainly not uh, the worst, but of course I would always like to have things cheaper. Overall, uh, a total rating of 7.5 on a scale from 1 to 10, and I think that is where we're going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful start of the new year. Until next time, bye-bye.